Welcome to Storytime. My name is Andrew Newman and this is The Unicorn Who Found Her Magic from ConsciousStories.com. Story is dedicated to all who quest. Please join me for the snuggle breathing meditation with an extra special breath for the unicorns. Breathing in, I breathe for me. I breathe for you. I breathe for us. I breathe for all that surrounds us. And I breathe for all the unicorns. Alchemy's head hung low as she dragged her hooves through the stardust. All the other unicorns know what their special kind of magic is, she mumbled. Moonshine knows how to help kittens stay soft. Silvermist knows how to help elephants grow big and strong. Even Firefly knows how to use her horn to help caterpillars grow extra long. I guess I'm going to have to go and find my special magic, said Alchemy. She packed a bag of snacks, grabbed Snuggles, her favorite cuddly toy, and set off on her adventure. Alchemy flew through whirlpools of stars, over planets, past a floating spaceman, through pink fluffy clouds, above majestic snow-capped mountains where dragons live, and past an airplane on her way to Earth. After days of flying, she landed in a beautiful forest. Alchemy looked around curiously. She pointed her horn towards a tree, hoping it would grow heart-shaped apples. Oopsie! That's not my special magic. Next, she waded into the ocean, curious to see if she could make starfish sparkle. Oh, I'm so sorry, she said, galloping away. Every mistake I make has such bright, pretty colors. I bet my special magic is making sparkling rainbows. She flew high into the sky and pointed her horn at a pink, fluffy cloud. Oh no! Rainbow heart-shaped starfish apples! I'm not getting this, sighed Alchemy as she sat down beneath a shady tree to rest. I wish I had help. What now, Snuggles? Any ideas? Before Snuggles had a chance to answer, a voice whispered from high up in the tree. Are you real? asked the little girl from her hiding place. You can see me, replied Alchemy, surprised. Oh my gosh, I'm talking to a unicorn, exclaimed the little girl excitedly. What are you doing here? I'm looking for my special kind of magic, sighed Alchemy. I've looked and looked, but I can't find it anywhere. I feel sad, tired and lonely, and I don't feel very magical. You're the most magical thing I've ever seen, exclaimed the little girl. I was also feeling sad and lonely. That's why I was hiding in the tree. I feel happier just talking to you. I'm coming down to give you a hug. You really helped me. But I didn't actually do anything, exclaimed Alchemy. Yes, you did. You sat with me and talked to me and now I feel so much better. Maybe that's your special magic. Helping kids feel happy, she said with a twinkle in her eye. That's it, exclaimed Alchemy, sparkling brighter than ever. You helped me find my magic. It's so easy. All I have to do is be myself.
The end. The activity page is Alchemy's Magical Steps, a meditation to meet your own unicorn. Open your heart, invite in your unicorn, see with your inner eye, begin connecting, listen curiously, and then share what you discovered. And you will have earned your badge of honor sticker that says, I am magic. Take one sticker from this sticker sheet and place it on the star counter every time you read the story. This is the unicorn who found her magic from conscious stories, helping children connect to the magic of being themselves. Good night. Sleep tight.